morning. It is Friday, and uh, we are speaking about laugh a little, live a little. <laughs> we need to learn how to laugh a little bit more in the life that we are living. Yeah, there, there is so much brokenness around us, and as a result of that, the enemy wants to press us down, and by pressing us down, he wants to remove life out of us, and once life is removed from us, laughter is removed as well. And so I want to speak to you about this. Live more and laugh in the face of the devil. He is defeated. <laughs> Come on, laugh in the face of your enemy, the devil himself. Even that what he's trying to throw at you, no matter what he's throwing at you. Come on, laugh back at him. Saying, you're not going to get the better of me. Even if you take life from me, I have still gained life because I'm found in Christ Jesus. I will never die. Yes, I might die upon this planet. But you know what? Jesus said, I've gone to prepare a place for you. So, so you know what? Once you've accepted Jesus Christ into your life, you've automatically accepted life eternal life yeah yeah we, we're not going to spend eternity in in this body but i know that it's going to change once the lord jesus christ even returns you know what this is going to change this body is going to change it's going to take on the very nature and the likeness of our lord and savior jesus christ job said this in job chapter 8 verse 21 he will once again fill my mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. Oh my goodness. When that trumpet sounds and we are raptured and we are taken to be with the Lord and we are in the presence of God, man, there will be continuous laughter in heaven. Heaven is going to be filled with laughter. In actual fact, heaven already is filled with laughter. But I want you to look into the face of your enemy uh, this coming week. As you've passed, possibly you've you you've gone through difficult times, possibly you've you've stumbled in areas. Today I want you to learn how to laugh in the face of your enemy. You see, the devil is a destructive being that has an agenda to destroy all that belongs to God. And again, over these past months, we have seen it through this pandemic. The loss of life, income, jobs. Man, let me tell you, the economy is in the state. The world is in turmoil as a result of what has happened over this period of time that we have found ourselves in. And again, as we come to God, we need to know that God is for you, not against you. When God wrapped Adam and Eve in those blood-soaked skins of an animal, it came with a promise that God never broke. In actual fact... He went to the cross, brought his son to the cross, there nailed to the cross for you and I. Why? So that we could laugh a little bit more by accepting him as Lord and Savior, knowing that he has dealt with our sin. It might not look like the devil is a defeated enemy. In fact, it might seem like he's in control as we look at the destruction all around us. But you see, it was on that day on that cross when Jesus Christ cried out, it is finished it is done the power and the control that was stolen from us has been restored back to us through the person christ jesus yes you can take control of your situation possibly not in your own strength many have tried to do in their own strength but failed we find our strength in the lord jesus christ again i come back and i constantly say this because we need to remind ourselves that he has given to us holy spirit he said i'm not going to leave you like an orphan but i'm going to send you holy Holy Spirit, He's going to walk alongside of you. He's going to be on you and He's going to be in you. <laughs> yeah, that's what He's going to do. And He's going to help you through the trials and the tribulations that you find yourself in, that you too can stand before your enemy and laugh at your enemy, saying to your enemy that God is in control. And if God be for you, then who can be against you? A life of separation from God was restored to man, allowing laughter back into man's life. You see, a God-restored life brings laughter into one's home, into one's sur surrounding, into one's business. Because you see, we, we look at business today and we say, God, how are we going to make ends meet? We look at our paycheck, we say, God, how are we going to make it to the end of the month? We look at all the things around us and we say, God, how are we going to get through this life? I want you to stand up and I want you to begin to laugh in the face of your enemy because God 
is in control. Oh yeah, it might seem like the devil's in control, but I want to say to you, that is what the enemy wants you to think. God is in control. When your relationship is secure and it has a solid grounding in Christ Jesus, you are able to laugh through the difficulties in life, giving once more man the ability to live life with purpose. Come on, there's a purpose in your life. God has given you a purpose to live life. So why not laugh a little? Allow Jesus Christ to become part of your life. And once you invite him into your life, you know what he's going to do? He's going to laugh with you as you laugh at your enemy. So come on, begin to laugh a little bit more so that you can do life a lot better than what we are doing it already. Until next time, God bless.